Good morning, crafters, and a warm welcome to this marvellous Monday show at Hunky Dory TV. A little later than advertised, I must admit. I do apologise. Um, sometimes it takes a little longer for me to do my makeup uh, before we go live, <laughs> and today is one of those days. Um, my name is Dan. I'll be your host for the hour, but with me today, ready to demonstrate some lovely Christmas goodies for you. It's Anne-Marie Catterall. Good morning. Good morning, Anne-Marie. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Super excited. Are you good? Yeah. How was your weekend? Uh, it was lovely, thank you. Very good. Quite quiet, quite chilled. Quite chilled? Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Relaxed. Yeah. Are you doing a little bit of last minute preparations there, Anne-Marie? <laughs> Guys, today we are launching our brand new festive iris folding we know that you loved our previous iris folding so so very much it sold out didn't it, it sold out it super did. quick yeah it was crazy and then we got it back and that sold out it's just been it's madness. they're hard to keep in stock yeah. aren't they yeah um I mean, if i remember right the one was a beautiful hummingbird wasn't it it, Ooh, was, it was absolutely gorgeous. gorgeous yeah it really was we've got some brand new iris folding here for you today we've got a brilliant winning weekly that we're going to go to in a little while but first i'm going to show you this fabulous iris folding Shall we take a look at a little VT with some cards? Let's do that. There we go, we're starting again. Beautiful cards with the fantastic iris folding technique, which is a real favourite that comes back again and it, again, it doesn't does. it? It does, and you know what, I, think, I feel like we're seeing quite a lot of those uh, almost like original techniques making a bit of a comeback with a little bit of a modern twist, like we've done here with iris folding. We've got the dies rather than you having to buy the card blanks with the uh, aperture's already in. It's nice that we're seeing them sort of come back, but... But in a slightly different yeah. way. And this is the thing, because you get cutting dies now, you can make as many yeah. of a, a yeah. design as you in possibly any want. Any card stock, any colour. You used to buy them, I think it was five cards for about yeah. a fiver, which would be five cards for a tenner these days, yeah. I think. Yeah. So you're talking a tenner, you get your die, you make as many as you yeah. possibly want. Shall I show you these gorgeous designs, guys? Um, oops, we'll go to this one. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, my fault, don't worry. Um, okay, so we've got a fantastic iris folding angel. I'm going to show you these in more detail. I'll show you them cut out as well. Uh, we've got the gorgeous stocking here. Mm -hmm. And Absolutely look at that beautiful. classic iris folding twist you get in the stocking there in the middle as well. A hundred percent. We've got the Christmas tree, of course. It's Christmas. Yeah, essential. Without, uh, without the Christmas tree, where would we be? And we also have a beautiful snowflake. Now, these consist of a cutting die. As you can imagine, there you go. I mean, it's it's looks like more than one cutting die there, really. You could snip these off, uh, these extra snowflakes off, and use them as embellishments if you want. Yeah, absolutely. We'll cut all that in one pass, so you get all of those extra bits and pieces. Ah, oh, that's super. And within this, there is a lovely pattern or template. I'll show you the one that I've got open here, which is the um, is the Christmas tree. Inside, you get full instructions because you want instructions. Yeah. Full explanation in colour as to exactly how you get this lovely iris folding technique. And then as you can see, you get a template, a numbered template that also has, um, it's colour coordinated, which means that we, the, 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 um, the clever bit has been done for it you. It has, yeah. The, the, the clever bit and the tricky bit, you know, that is oh, the okay. hardest That's part, the hard part, sort of thinking of that pattern and how you're going to lay all those papers down. So having that template there, which means you can just choose your colours and that's it you're good to go you don't have to follow the template we've sort of colour coordinated it a little bit if you'll see on the Christmas tree there we've got two shades of blue okay um, so what Stacey and Jen intended when they put these together was that you do um, two different shades of green or two different shades of blues if you want a frosty tree um, but you can see that one's been done completely differently you don't have to follow the colour coordination but you can just follow the template to get those layers and get that iris folding finish. So that one has been done exactly, exactly the same. how, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So you can see how those colours alternate, yeah. But then it's completely up to you as, yeah. to, as to how you do it and whatever colours you like. And then embellishing these, I think, we've got these lovely little embellishments, oh, just diamond amazing. sparkles on there, are fabulous, aren't they? Uh, you can do the same, but with the little diamond sparkles that we showed you a minute ago. Look at using um, uh, gold mirror behind for the um, for the fabulous star at the top is really, really beautiful. But there are so many different, and they look so different. There's so many different ways to use these. 
Uh, because you get when you get this um, uh, this cutting die, you can also cut out your Christmas trees. You can, yeah. So you layer them up. Yeah, I mean, how gorgeous does that look? Even if we didn't have the iris folding one in the background, you could create scenes with those trees, cutting them out of different sort of, uh, you know, mirror card, your your designs, your um, pattern cardstock, your matastic, anything at all, and just layer those up. I Isn't love how lovely? vibrant that one is. So beautiful, colourful. Beautiful colours. Christmas colours, vibrant colours. Yeah. But with that fantastic iris folding technique there in the back. Okay, so uh, what are you getting? You have got four different designs to choose from. They're £9.99 each. There is a multi-buy, isn't there, on them? Yeah. The two, yeah. And what's the multi-buy? Um, okay, sorry. Is there a multi-buy on just the individual? So if you bought any two or... Is this just me talking rubbish? I do apologise if it is. The multi buys with the pack. Okay, so you can get all four of those fabulous dies for just £34.95 and also get our fabulous, if I had it somewhere, it's disappeared. There it is. Let me just show this as well. This is so cute. Our A6 paper folding pad that is filled with gorgeous sheets of paper. Um, perfect for iris folding. Is it going to do it? Is it not going to do it? Should we go to the other one? Let's go to the other <laughs> camera. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. But also foil oh, designs I as well. I love these. And those, those foil ones, they just add that touch of sparkle to the iris folding. They just bring in a little bit of a different look. So you can do them all just plain papers, but just adding one of your foil papers in, just a couple of strips are really going to make the difference. And Marie, I'm in love with that colour. It's gorgeous, the, the isn't it? The depth of that colour is yeah, beautiful, it's, it isn't is it? It is so nice. How, how pretty. Um, I love it. It's just that... that purple to blue you yeah, can't really tell which that, it is what color is that <laughs> okay so let's take a look at that bundle price so you have four iris folding dies you have the angel you have the um the christmas tree you have the lovely stocking and of course you have the snowflakes but you also get this paper folding pad we're going to go straight to a demo with Anne-Marie in a second 34 pounds 95 is your price but that's not your diamond price Gemma what's our diamond price Shall I get it? Thirty-one. Pa it's on my. It's on my thing. I should know this. I do apologize. <laughs> Thirty-one pounds forty-five for diamond members. If you're a diamond member, you are going to get ten percent off that bundle price. Uh, also, these are available on their own. Should we go to Anne Marie for our first demonstration? Okay. Um, so we're going to use the Christmas tree for this one, and what I wanted to do was create it all in sort of blues and frosty shades rather than the traditional green. So we're going to use some of this gorgeous duo uh, tone matte plastic. <gasps> Look at the colours. It's just fabulous, isn't it? So we're going to use some of this and I'm just going to do a little bit of trimming just to get this down. Let me just bring this in because I need to double check my measurements. So we're three and a half. Um, so I'm going to cut the width first of all, which is six. So let's pop that in there at six. Cut along there. I'm going to bring the scoreboard in because we need to do some scoring first of all, just to create this sort of three panel card. So we're going to score at three and a half we're going to score at seven and then i'm going to just mark at ten and a half but that's where i'm going to cut so we don't need to go all the way down with the score there you can do if you want to just to give yourself a guide but because it's a nice easy round measurement measurement we will just cut along there again that color is absolutely beautiful isn't it? it is gorgeous and i love the reverse side as well because we've got that really soft icy blue as well it's you've got a real mix. very special isn't it it is it really is um so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to cut away a, like a section along here so i'm just going to mark so i'm going to fold along this score that we've just created and, and i'm going to mark about no real sort of measurement here but about sort of two inches i think so two inches there just fold it this way as well and do two inches there and then I also want to just mark one inch at the bottom edge so we're going to cut there to there so because obviously it's an angle and I'd like these to be matching that's why I'm just adding my little markers otherwise we could just sort of freehand it okay but I do want to just make sure that these match as best they can so I'm just going to line up with my trimmer obviously because I know that my blade is going to cut right down that central channel I can pop my blade in there and it just cuts perfectly along there for us. And then I'll just do the same at that bottom edge as well, just lining that up in there. This trimmer is, it's so, so very clever, isn't it? It just gives you such different possibilities. Oh, it and does, I yeah. Think, I think we probably need, uh, we could do a whole show just on the trimmer we and have the special done, things. We've yeah, done a whole we did, show on the trimmer. We have done a Technique Tuesday just on the trimmer. Um, our favorite one was um, cleaning our trimmer out. So we get our three-in-one die brush. Yes. And we just run the pokey tool down that channel oh, nice. and down that groove and look at all the stuff the that's just that come, come out of yes, there yes. honestly um sometimes you think 
I need a new blade, but if you just do that, you actually don't. It's in, it's it's very good. It's very satisfying as well. So then, just going to go in and cut those sections out there. So we're creating almost like wings, if you will, um, for this three-panel card. So the way that it's going to work, um, I'll just get in and get my snips. So on I that can bit. see that you yes, you could have done that freehand, but it's one of those where when you try and do that freehand, they're not going to match perfectly. No. And then you end up taking a little bit more off one, more. and then a little bit more, and then yep. and you end up with nothing left. Exactly. Uh, that's exactly how it works. So then we've got this almost like a three-fold sort of style card. And then we're going to cut our Christmas tree out of the centre here. So let me grab my die. And this is just going to sit just sort of towards the top section, really, so that we can still see it, obviously, when we cross these sections over. So just pop that on there, run this through our Gemini. I'm just going to pop a little bit of extra tape on that just so it doesn't wiggle around because it is a little bit wibbly. There we go. Pop that through. And then we can get on with the iris folding. So when you get your pads, what I like to do is keep all my strips and all my papers in one of these little boxes. These are our storage boxes. The boxes are amazing. Isn't uh, it fascinating how many things actually fit in these boxes? The world seems to fit in them. Yeah, they're, it, like, they're like the TARDIS where they're bigger inside than, than you would expect. Yeah, it's, it is uh, amazing. So we've um, what I've got here is all sorts of strips that I've already sort of pre-folded for all the projects, things like that. But I love that my pad also fits in as well. So I can just keep all of that together. So what we recommend in the instructions is you cut your strips into, have I got one that's not? not glued now let's cut one so you can see what we recommend is cutting your strips into um sort of three to four centimeters so just like this um and then you fold them so you just fold them lengthways um it doesn't have to be you don't have to score them you don't have to do it like super precise but just folding them in half and then I personally like to glue them as well so they're nice and flat okay that makes so, sense because obviously you're layering lots and lots of things if I get my pre-done one, you can see you're layering lots and lots of bits and pieces. It looks an absolute mess on the back, but no Irish thorning is so much fun because on the back, it looks it's like horrific. carnage. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. But, but on, on the front, front it so looks pretty. gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> so this just helps keep that, um, keeps that, keeps the layers down, keeps it nice and flat. So a little bit of glue stick in the middle of there and just keep all your um, strips in your little box so you've got them to go to whenever you need them so let's get Dead easy. going so you can do that so just while you're watching the telly exactly, while you're yeah. out, there's no yeah thing. so inside you're going to get your template um and it's a reusable template so make sure you keep this okay because it, you do need this every time you come to do it and then you're going to put your i'll start actually let me start let's go back to here and just show you how you start and then we'll finish that one off so just grabbing our tape off there so you need to put it back to front over your template, okay, because you're working on the back. And just, again, secure that down with some of your low-tack tape. So let's just grab some of this here. And it's just to make sure the template doesn't move. That's all. You don't need to, you know, stick it down really well just so that that template doesn't move. And then you're going to start with number one. Now, number one on this one is just the top of the, um, the little plant pot for the tree. So what I uh, have already done on mine is I've actually just used a little slither of Miri for this one. So rather than cutting it and folding it, because it's such a slim section, I actually just used it like that. So okay. I'm just going to pop a little bit of tape over this one. So just because with your Miri, obviously if we put glue stick on the side of here, it's not going to stick because your Miri is coated. It's got that yes. uh, sort of laminate coating, yes. so it isn't going to stick. Um, you do need tape or double-sided tape little bit of low tack tape, anything like this, just to keep that piece in place. And then we're gonna go in with our strips. So then we go to number two, and you can do any color here. Uh, let's go, let's get some of this gorgeous purple. And then all you're gonna do is sort of line that up and then snip. And then I'm gonna take some of the back off that because it is gonna obviously go over our design here. Uh, of course, yeah. And then I just like to go in with my glue stick, actually on straight onto my card like this and just pop that piece down like that and then you're just going to follow this around so then we're going to number three which is here so again just a little bit of glue stick 
number three. Always putting your fold on the inside as well, rather than your edges, because that gives you a neater finish. Of course, the fold is on the inside, in, yes. It's, it's That's not the point of the Irish folding. Yes. Absolutely, yeah. And then we're going to go with number four. So it's just really straightforward. All you're doing is just following that pattern around. In using the number. Losing, using the number and just going all the way around. This is all one colour. You could do different colours if you want to. You absolutely don't have to stick to one colour like we have done here. Uh, I've seen uh, iris folding with sort of tonal colours that looks absolutely yeah. beautiful. It doesn't have to be contrasting no, colours. No, not at um, all. It can be tonal, you know, but uh, if you've got a colour wheel, yeah. uh, any colours that complement each other, they'll be perfect, or colours near to each other in a colour wheel, they'll be perfect as well. Um, now, with this uh, this paper folding pad that we're, we're including in this bundle here, uh, you've got the same colours printed yep. as you have with the foiled as well. So they'll sort of match as they, well, which yep, is perfect. They do, they're, they're just fabulous. So just going in with our number seven there. Um, so it's just that simple. It's just following this pattern and just cutting your little strips to fit. So um, if you don't want to cut, I have found you can cut the strips a little bit slimmer for things like this as well. So your starting size, you could maybe do sort of one centimetre and then cut them in half because you can see we're not using a great deal of the width here and I'm cutting a lot of them in half but just adding your glue stick around the edges just to secure all those little pieces in and then when you get to the the middle there we can actually go in and use one of these scrap pieces that we've trimmed off because you don't ever see the edges of the of middle of course that makes sense that just sits like that so I'll just show you this one and then we'll go back and finish off that other tree there but you can see how that's come together so quickly and easily because all the prep work really is in your strip. So as long as your strips are ready to go, you can create the effect so quickly. So I'm going to bring in my part done one now. So we've got just, uh, if you just bring it back for a sec. Yep. So on that, um, you can see that there's a, a little bit of white where it's taking some of the color away there. Now that was the low tack tape. It yeah. was, no, don't worry yeah, about it, it was. Tape. If your low tack tape is ever too tacky, yep. Pop it on your on your dress. Yeah, your clothes. Pop it on your clothes. Yeah, pop it on get it your. Get a bit fluffy. Get it a little bit fluffy, yeah. and and you'll never see that happen. Okay. Yeah. So low tack tape can be more tacky or less. It tacky. is, and it's the pressure of the, the die weather. cutting machine as yeah, well. Absolutely. Yeah, all these things. So many things can can interrupt it and, and make it a little bit more tacky. 100%. So I'm just going to pop my template back on here, so you can see as well that you don't have to complete your project in one go. If you want to go away and come back to it, you can do that as well. So then I have got um, my strips here. So I'm using the uh, frosty sort of um, blue ones here and I'm using the dark ones. And what I've done is I've actually not followed the pattern. So I'm doing alternate on each side. So I've done the, the light blue one there. So now I'm going to go in with the sort of darker cool blue and I'm just going to again just measure that up there, place that down. Do the same on the other side. And Marie, we're getting a lot of love for that Premier Craft Tools um, paper trimmer, you know. It's, uh, yeah. Lorna says, I paid over £100 for a paper trimmer what? Peter, to last a lifetime. Then I bought the HD uh, trimmer, which is super, super, and all I ever use, and I'm sure all I'll ever need, a great buy. Uh, that's lovely, lovely to hear. And I, I, Ellen, sorry, Ellen Jean Turner says, uh, I've had four different trimmers and guillotines, then bought the HD trimmer. I wish I'd been able to buy it sooner. I use it all the time now. So we, we're getting some great, great feedback on that trimmer. It really is a cracker, isn't it? It is. It's amazing. And, you know, the value for money, it's so affordable. I think it's 20, 21 99 I yeah, think, oh, I have a feeling. Yeah, it's, it's just fabulous. You'll be able to find it on the website, guys. Yeah, we use it all the time. You see us using it all the time. And um, just the things you can do with it. I'm going to show you on my next demo. I'm going to show you how you can... Um, save on your mats and layers as well, save on your mirror card. So doing things like that, cutting oh, your yeah, own apertures. Clever. Another thing I really like to do with it is to make my own pyramage. So again, just using um, the trimmer to cut apertures just means it leaves you with sort of innies and outies for pyramage. Of it does. So yes, so many things you can do with the trimmer, it's wonderful. So just add in this last one here, and you can see again, just how quickly it comes together. You know, obviously we didn't have that many to do here but just that last little section there. And then obviously the back does look an absolute mess. So all I've got now is a little bit of white cardstock to place over the top just to hide all of that sticking. And no one will ever know what's underneath there. They just there. won't know it's there. Exactly. 
Uh, and that also, because you're going to pop your double-sided tape on there, that's also going to help to secure that Absolutely, as well. So yeah. there's going to be no movement there because that's what you don't want. You don't want it all to move and disappear. Oh, goodness, no. Someone gets their card and it's all falling <laughs> to bits. That's no good. It's just an envelope full of strips of paper. So then this can just sit over the top there. So when you're doing this, just bear in mind, if you're going to do this, make sure your strips don't peek out like that one there. Um, and then when we flip this over, we've got that gorgeous iris folding design. I actually popped a little bit of Miri on the inside of my um, little plant pot there. And I just put Miri behind the star as absolutely. well. Absolutely, it just adds a little bit more, doesn't it? It does, it does. And then we're just gonna finish this off by adding our Christmas wishes uh, sentiment. So this is from our Mattastic book of sentiments. And this is just gonna sit on the front. Let me get a little foam pad so that we can attach that just to give it a little bit of extra dimension there. So I can just pop that across there and just add that sentiment. And you can secure this with like a little um, little Velcro dot if you wanted to, but I quite like how that sort of stands open like this. And then obviously it can reveal a further message inside if you want to, um, but I just love that technique. It's just comes together so amazingly quick as well. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? And that was so much quicker because it looks very, very complex, yeah. doesn't it, iris folding? But it's actually quite simple. It is, yeah. Um, you've got a procedure to follow. You follow that procedure. You get that lovely template in there, which you use again and again and again. And because it's all numbered, it, you can't really go wrong. Does that make sense? Um, it's lovely. Uh, that A6 paper folding pad, which I'll show you again in a second in a little bit more detail, um, it's got silver and it's got gold it foil does, in it, hasn't yeah. it? Um, so whether you like silver, whether you like gold, it's, they're both in there. And some uh, gold goes better with some colours, silver goes better with other colours, but you'll find that anyway. Um, okay, would you like us to take a look at our, at our Win It Weekly? Let's do that. Now this week's Win It Weekly, I've not seen the question yet, but the prize uh, that's been chosen is our fabulous Ooh. Diamond Sparkles. I'll show you, Diamond Sparkles Shimmer Card 50 Sheet Pack. Nice. So this is, look at that. Because it's Shimmer Card, it's not crazy glitter card, it's shimmery. <gasps> look at the colors. And there are so many different colors in here. I think there's 25 colors and you get two of each. You do. This is A4 a size, but because it's a shimmer card, it's encapsulated, there's no shed. So there's no little bits of glitter that are, that are gonna find their way into the, um, into the, the streams and the rivers. There's no, no uh, there's no, nothing like that. No waste, no damage. Um, take a real close look at these colors here. Aren't they incredible? Absolutely beautiful. Now I know something that this really, really goes well with and it's our iris folding. It does, yeah. Doesn't this work so yeah. beautifully? Um, I should be able to find a couple of cards in a minute and show you. But first, uh, it's Win It Weekly. You want to have a look at that question. Uh, we'd love you to like and share our video, please, please do, uh, our show, um, but comment with the answer to this question. Which Arctic animal can run faster than Usain Bolt? Wow. Which, uh, I'm sure it's our Adam. Which Arctic <laughs> animal can run faster? Uh, my, my brother, who is 47, for some reason thinks that he can run faster than Usain Bolt. Honestly, uh, that day was the funniest It was one day. of the funniest days yeah. ever. He yeah. was trying to run up and down the office yeah. as fast as Usain Bolt. Yeah. It, it was hilarious. He was not as fast as you said. No, he definitely wasn't. He definitely wasn't. Um, which Arctic animal can run faster than you say? Well, is it A, an Arctic hare? Mm. They can be quite, they've got big back legs, I think haven't they? Super, they can, yeah. Super fast. Yeah. Oh, they do when they get moving. Yeah. But I think they can change direction really fast. Yeah, you definitely. Know, rather yeah, than maybe not, not in a straight line, I don't yeah. know. Is it B, a penguin? Um, <laughs> Can you imagine <laughs> this? It would be like Charlie Chaplin on Fast Forward, wouldn't it? Yeah. No, I don't know amusing. about that. Could be. Yeah. Or is it C, a polar bear? I reckon a polar bear can be quite fast. They, they are they are big animals, yeah. aren't they? And um, really big animals. Mm. And there's hardly any, any difference between them and grizzlies. They're, no. they're just, yeah, but they don't meet because they don't go in the same place, do no. they? No, um, they don't. Don't go to the same. There's, there's loads more we know about polar bears, I think, if we dredged it up from our mind. But we want the answer to that question. Is it A, an Arctic hare? Is it B, a penguin? Or is it C, a polar bear? Uh, leave your answer either on Facebook or YouTube and welcome if you're joining us on Facebook and if you're joining us on YouTube. Um, please do uh, pop some comments in there as well. How are you doing today? Are you having a nice week? Have you got our Christmas blockbuster? Has it been delivered to your house? Are you in love with it? Um, <laughs> 
So many people got them on Friday. Did when we they? Were here. They were like, my blood buster's just arrived. I was like, I'm so excited for I, you. I've seen on Facebook all the pictures of people, yeah. uh, you know, just with them out and just say, wow, this is yeah, amazing. Yeah, definitely. It's a lovely collection. It of is. Buster. It really is. So many people are saying they think it's it's the best one yet. And I think I've got to agree. Do you? Yeah. Do you mind if, I know you've got um, another Irish folding mm -hmm. uh, demo. Do you mind if we take a look at the blockbuster? Absolutely Can we do not. that later on? Take another look at the blockbuster. Is that okay? That's yeah. excellent. Okay, that's good. Um, love, love, love that blockbuster. And love that you guys are loving that blockbuster as well. Okay, so Win It Weekly, uh, you'll find out, uh, pop your answer in. You've got to get the answer correct, obviously. And on Friday, on our Thank Craft It's Friday show, 10 a.m. Friday morning, um, during that show, we will choose, um, did, did it say five winners? Can we pop it back up? Is that okay? Uh, we will choose five winners uh, worth 19.99. So we're giving away 100 quid's worth of goodies. That's what we always try and give away, which is fantastic. Um, I said that I would show you uh, an iris folding with that oh, yeah, with, the glitter shimmer. with that shimmer card being used. So, uh, I mean, first off, just very basic. It's just around the very outside there, but it's also been used in the centre. Uh, which is really nice. So that's sort of an, an um, option instead of the mirror. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. It just has that little bit of extra sparkle, so doesn't it's it? because it's behind, is it? So because it's there as well and there. Yeah. And it's been used there. So actually it's, it's been used quite a lot there. Now, it's gorgeous, isn't it? This is just really simple. This Ooh. isn't using the iris folding technique, but this is showing you how simple you can get. It's even better if you turn it the right way up, Dan. There we go. <laughs> Caesar's greetings. <laughs> I'm seeing it upside down, so it looks the right way for me. But anyway, um, okay, yeah. So you can use these iris folding dies just to cut out either an aperture, yeah, uh, or indeed um, the the sort of large embellishment that you've got there. A little bit of that blue mirror, which is a gorgeous blue as well. Um, but that lovely sort of glittery silver there just catches the light, as you can see. Absolutely beautiful. Um, while I'm showing you snowflakes, I'm going to show you this one. Look at that, Amory. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Now, who's done that? Let me see. That's Kirsty. Thank you so much for that, Kirsty. She's put acetate on top that of it. That is gorgeous. And made it really quite contemporary there, yep. isn't it? Something very, very different. I like that a lot. Um, very different. We've got some pearls around the outside there as well, which is beautiful. Would you like to see some with the stocking? So again, just using the stocking, cutting out the aperture um, and then piecing it back in, but without the iris folding technique. So you can do loads and loads with this, but that with would be fab with the shimmer card. Oh, that would be amazing yeah. with the shimmer card. Uh, but with the iris folding technique, this is uh, some lovely old school rustic craft card. Love there. that. You get the swirl in there with the uh, with the Christmas stocking, but of course it's up to you um, how much you go in there with different colours and different tones. This is where we talked about it being tonal earlier on. Um, I love that we've got some little gemstones up on this um, uh, on the what's it called the stick. The, stick, the candy cane. Candy cane. Thank you, Anne Marie. <laughs> we get there in the end. Stick. Uh, I'm also going to show you the angel here. Uh, isn't that beautiful? Now that's some gorgeous iris folding with some some very clever choice of colour um, uh, behind that with those um, with those pieces of paper that have been used. Really, that really pretty. That is nice. That's from our glitter tastic um, jaw design paper pad. It's lovely, isn't it? And just as I move it, you can see the dimension. You can really see it in the wings, can't you? I think. Um, absolutely gorgeous. And Bex did that. Thank you very much. Um, Rich Velvet, Dewar Designs, Glitter Tastic, and Pastel Ombre. Uh, of course, just um, pop these, uh, use them as, as die cuts, and pop them onto the top. There's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Uh, should we see what we've got inside? There we go. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, this is Debbie Bennett. Thank you very much, Debbie. That's cute, isn't it? She made really, like little really tags pretty. out of them. Um, little tags. They're very sweet. Very, very sweet. There we go. And you can see that the different colours really do change it up quite a lot, don't they? Um, and then something else different as well with this iris folding. There we go. OK, Amory, are you ready for... De oh, no, <laughs> you can't be ready for oh, demonstration sorry. number two because I haven't actually shown any more product yet, have I? Which was my job, wasn't it? One job. Hey, one job. Um, one job. We'll go back to those in a minute. Let me just move those to the side. Right. Um, the A6 iris folding paper pad and I will do my absolute best to show it's not going to work on this one is it is it is it going to behave right so we've got we go. different colors so we've got the lovely blues yellows there as you can see you get multiple sheets of each um, different greens yellows um, as you go through just all the different colors of oh, I've gone through a few too many there um, <laughs> all the different colors um, uh, of, the, of the of the spectrum that's that lovely 
I'm sorry about this. If we try and get anything there to look at like my hand, there we go. Beautiful, but we're gonna come into the foiled ones in a second. There we go. Look at that lovely holly design. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't that pretty? It's so lovely, isn't it? I, I, the patterns are really dainty as well. Yes. You know, they're not too big. And, they need obviously to Because you don't see a, a huge amount of them, do you, when you're using them for the folding? So it's nice that they're just... Let it snow. It's just a little bit of something, uh, which is really, really pretty. Silent Night that we've got there. Um, some lovely uh, stripes there that we've got foiled on the purple. Uh, you can see them catching the light here. But there's loads, loads, loads in there. Let me see how many sheets in total. Uh, 100 GSM, 80 sheets with 16 different colours in there. Very, very pretty. We also have some Mattastic adorable cardstock to show you. I'll show you on this larger camera here. Uh, Anne-Marie, why Mattastic with the iris folding? Um, we just felt because it's folding and it's a little bit more sort of rustic, the mat just works better. It, does, it was just it? something that we can, obviously we can add more to this as well. We can ink onto here if we want to add a little bit of extra colour. Um, it just gives you a few more choices, uh, definitely. And the matte colours are just gorgeous. They, you know, I it's love soft. Adorable Scorable, but I do love matte as well. It is a different finish, a different look. Perfect for, we always find stamping. Um, you know, things like your iris folding, um, anything that just requires a little bit of extra... Creativity. Yes, yes, definitely. Absolutely. This but it's still got it. all the properties of Adorable Scorable. Of course it does, uh, as you'd expect. But some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colours here. 40 sheets we've got. Uh, 20 colours, two of each, um, with eight special festive colours in there as well. Um, you get some beautiful colours. Let's jump to the uh, a little bit further on here so you can see some of these. There we go. Oh, that's lovely, um, isn't it? That's Christmas on a stick, isn't it? Which is, uh, which is beautiful. Uh, love the purple. And you're seeing more and more and more purple in with Christmas card making these days. Um, 11 99 for your 40 sheets here. It's fantastic value. But remember, if you are a club member, you're getting 5% off that price. If you're a diamond member, you're getting 10% off that price. So you're getting £1.20 off that price. You're not paying no, the prices that you see. You'll be paying the prices that you see on the site when you're logged in, which will always be lower for all full price products and indeed for the bundle. So if you bring that bundle back up for us, Jen, uh, at £34.95, you're actually paying £31.50 if you're a Diamond member today. Um, okay, are we good to go across to you, Anne-Marie, yes, for another demo? Yes, we absolutely are. Let's yes. do that. So I, I'm just going to run this through the machine first because uh, we're going to do the Angel. And I had a little bit of um, like something I really wanted to do. Right, I was like, I want to do two Angels, like sort of facing each other. Oh, nice. Um, so I cut them both. Yes. And I was like, yep, yeah, this is perfect. I put one in the template, absolutely perfect. Put the other one in the template, and obviously it was back to front. Yes. Didn't match up to the template. So I was like, but I want to do this. Okay. So I went over to Stacey and I was like, Stacey, can you make this work? Because I really want to do this. Um, and we've come up with a really clever idea. Well, I say we. Stacey came up with a really clever idea. The royal we. Yeah, the royal we. Um, I mean, it's my idea in the first place. Okay. You know, yes. to do it. Uh, so let me show you just how we pop these back through the die cutting machine. So obviously you need to flip your card over, first of all, to line this up. And then we're just going to line, oh, line her up so she's almost exactly the same as the one we've already done. Pop that back through so you can see when we do this how we get the two angels, first of all. So you turned your piece of card over then, Turn my did card you? over, yes. yeah. You can, yeah, turn your card over. Um, and or, then or flip it. Flip it, sense, yeah. yeah. And then there's a really cool way that we've done the angels. I'm going to show you. It's fabulous. So we've got those now like this. Obviously, what happens when you pop this through the die cutting machine? It gives you that beveled edge on the back. Okay. Now, a way to get around this is to get one of your embossing tools and sort of push that bevel back so it matches this one. Okay. Or you can run the whole thing through the die cutting machine without any dies, just flat, and it flattens both of them out. Oh, very so clever. So they don't look different to each other. Okay. Okay, so once we've got that. Hints and tips and tricks. We hope so, that's what we're aiming for. From the master tactician. <laughs> so we bring in our template. Obviously this one, perfect. This one doesn't fit. Mm. So what Stacey did was she got a little bit of parchment. She drew around that template. So then we can flip that template <laughs> and pop it on here. I was like, Stacey, you're an absolute master. Very, very clever. Isn't it clever? 
Do you oh. know what I'm going to ask for? Go on. To make it even easier for the people at home. Yeah. And I'm going to get in trouble for doing this, aren't I? No, I don't think so. Do you not? For downloads. I would like us to make it so that so that we flip can them. we can flip them. Let's let's flip them for the customers so yep. it's done uh, and we can pop that as a download yep. um, and people will be able to download it for free. Yep. Okay. Yep. Stacey will be watching, like I'm that. sure. Um, I'm surprised she's not commented yet. To I'm say surprised she's not cursing idea. me. She, she'll, well, uh, there'll, there'll there be a door be a slamming. There in might a minute. be a bit of that. <laughs> okay, so what we've already done, because we're doing two, we've already made a start over here. So the one that we are going to do is the one that uses our. Uh, back to front template. So I'm just going to pop some white card underneath here just so I can see that template a little bit better. So just going to line that back up. Now obviously your numbers are back to front when you're looking at this for me. Yes. If you're going to get one that's uh, flipped for you uh, as a download. Um, so I'm just going to bring this in for reference so that I can check my numbers but I can read the numbers back to front all right it's not too bad. So what we've already done is we've uh, we're starting at number 20, which is at the bottom, which is the pale yellow with the foil. So let me bring all of these ones together. So I'm going to make a start down here with these. So again, just going in with our glue stick. So for number 20, we can just trim about there. Don't worry if, you, um, if they go over the edge of your cardstock because you can obviously just trim those off afterwards. Again, number 21. Amory, we've just got a couple of questions. Uh, are the glue sticks in stock, please? Oh, the face on Amory says they're not. Uh, okay, so as we speak right now, the glue sticks are not in stock. You can use any glue sticks that you, you do can, have at home. You can use this as well. You of just course. need to give it a little bit longer to dry. It's just not as instant, if you will. Um, but you can use that as well. It's completely up to you. Um, I did see a comment saying that they would love to see Usain Bolt racing a penguin uh, and how hilarious that was Rachel said that that would how be, hilarious that would, would be quite amusing yeah absolutely wouldn't it or we could get Adam to race a penguin oh uh, yes that would be even funnier because <laughs> you know he can run as fast so I've just seen someone said how fast arctic hares run they run very 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 fast oh really they are quick even just like little bunnies are quick though aren't they aren't they just there were some um, little babies in the park this morning when I was taking Sophie to nursery. Little baby bunnies just hopping about and eating all the grass. Uh, Claire Edwards has said, we have snowfall acetate. Is there any chance we can get some tiny stars on acetate for use like the snowfall? So that would be okay. star, yeah, starlight yeah. acetate. Uh, I like the idea. Um, so if we have one of our design team watching, can you remember that please? <laughs> um, and by the time we finish our show, so the show's probably got about 20 minutes to go. Um, you know, we expect it to have been designed, ready for yeah, us. on the machines. On the machines. Yeah, um, in fact, packed and ready to sell. Packed and ready to go, that would be good. Yeah. And we're going to get in trouble today, aren't we? We are going to get in so much trouble. It's all your fault. It is my fault. Um, oh, uh, yes, I've had a little note from Gemma that says, we can show the essential book of sentiments after the blockbuster, Dan. Uh, the, the thing I was meant to show before we came to you. Oh, okay. Did you know? <laughs> Another thing I've missed. It's okay. It's one of those days. Don't worry. Okay, so just going in with that one. Couldn't work out which was my edge and which was the the fold then. And then I'm just going to need a little bit more. Let's see if we've got one in my stash. So watching this, this is where you can see that the template, how invaluable that template yeah, is. Yeah, definitely. Now the Irish folding templates, if you just joined us, they do come with your cutting dies. They on the on the inside of that packaging. Don't throw that packaging away because you'll need that template. Uh, as we said, we will make them available uh, to download uh, and also these reverse ones available to download as well, which is fantastic. So we've just got this one, 32 and 33, and then we're going to change the colour. So I'm going to make this work with these little scraps because I don't want to do a different colour. So we've got 32. And let's see if we can get 33 in with this one. I'm going to open it out because it was folded the other way and see if we can squish that in. Hmm. Might have to go that way. Oh, um, Marie, just think fits. about those stars that, that we were just talking about. Mm. I think I think you'd want them in silver and you'd want them in gold, wouldn't you? Rather than you wouldn't want them in the white like the snowfall. No, silver and gold would be nice. Yeah. 
Um, we have, um, oh, that's not the right colour. There, here it is. Um, I do like the snowfall par parchment idea as well. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Has it, been, has it been manufactured no. yet? Has no one done it? We haven't oh, so had... you've given something away then. Sorry. Sorry. So it's not been on the machines yet, the snowfall parchment? We've just got so many things we just want to do. The snowfall mirror is fantastic. Oh, isn't it's it? gorgeous. We, that was sold out so fast on Hobby Maker the other day because obviously we've got customers there that haven't seen it before. Mm. So, you know, they haven't purchased Hunky Dory before, like the Hunky Dory Christmas. So they don't know what to expect. So everything, like our core things, just went absolutely crazy. Okay, so this last one, we'll just go in with that piece there and that then we we'll turn that over gives us those gorgeous angels this little bit here that's just hanging out we can just trim that off and then we're going to mass and layer this i'm just going to give that a really good press down let me just pop that over there give that a really good press down and then we can make the card so i've got um an eight by eight card blank okay i've got some gold mirror now, you know, I said earlier about using the trimmer to um, make our mat and layering go that bit further. What we're going to do is we're going to take the middle of this cardstock out. So my angels here are just under seven and a qu uh, six and three quarter inches. So I know that I can cut the middle out of here. So if I line this up to let's go, let's go half an inch, cut half an inch all the way around. All four sides not cutting through remember just cutting inside so we're basically creating an aperture here oh, that one was a little bit bigger that one that went three quarters like this that will give us the mass and layer for the outside let me just snip that little bit there so that it's just so clever isn't gives it gives us that and, and where, where's the wastage? There isn't any. There isn't any, exactly. And then this should just be seven and three quarters. I'll just square that off there. At six and three quarters, sorry. I keep getting my measurements all mixed up there. So because you're not doing this with scissors, uh, there's no, you, obviously with a guillotine you can't do this. Um, you need to be able to, to start your cut within the middle of the board. Yes. Um, if you're doing this with scissors, um, it's not easy. You're gonna you're gonna like you're warp gonna your damage card or damage your you? card. Um, with a craft knife, it's tricky because you've got to be able to hold it in place. Obviously, uh, this trimmer does that for you. It's just a super trimmer. I'm just gonna bring this down ever so slightly just to fix. It is a little bit, a little bit bigger. There we go. It wasn't quite where I thought it was. So then that'll give us that lovely gold edge on there. Um, and then this this paper. Guess where it's from? Where is this paper from? It's from our magazine with our Blockbuster. Is it? Yeah. It's from the magazine that came with, comes yeah. with the Blockbuster. But how good a match is this? Which is a rather good segue, because we're going to take a look at that next. It's like it was planned. It's like you planned it, Amory. But we didn't. We really didn't. Um, okay, so I'm going to use double-sided tape to get this frame on. Get this in place, first of all. I love those papers in the magazine. They're just so useful. I've got another one lined up for one of my demos at Hobby Maker tomorrow as well because they're just fabulous. Oh, aren't they lovely? Um, Anne Crawford has uh, come up with a message for us. She says, the Win It Weekly question is actually A and C as both these animals exceed 40 miles per hour and Usain averages a mere 38 Is that all? Miles per hour. Is well. that all? Well, this may be true. I don't know. Um, I, I do not have the knowledge and I cannot answer. But what I do know is that with all Win It Weekly questions, it is the producer's decision as to what yep. the right answer is, even if it's the wrong one. <laughs> it's true. We're so um, tricky. And we are, in, we are in their hands, aren't we? We are indeed. We are indeed. Oh. But I'm sure they wouldn't be mean. I'm sure if there were two no. answers that were correct, they would, all, all the people who got both of those would be, um, would be allowed into them. Yeah. Yes. Well, it would be if it's Gemma. I'm not sure about Emily. It's very true. You know, Emily is on holiday. She's on Holly Bobs. She's on Holly Bobs, yeah. which is lovely. Hey, Anne Marie. What? The wife goes on holiday tonight. Oh yeah, I heard And the this. boys are. Is it boys' night in? The boys are in 
for a week. It's not it's not a week. It's strict, not strictly a week until Saturday night, I think it is. The boys. Right. So I have to try and keep my kids alive for, for six days you can on do my this. own. Can you I do, can this? do this? Yeah, you can. Can I do this? We've got It'll every faith fine. in you. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Be absolutely fine. So McDonald's day one. Yeah. Burger King day two. Yeah. KFC. KFC day three. Yeah. Deep pan? Some kind of pizza. Uh, Nando's. Nando's? Yeah, there's lots all, of things. Yeah, all, you're fine. All these fabulous places. No, we're having salad. Okay. What would you like for tea, boys? Salad? <laughs> Will they eat salad? Yeah, of course they'll eat salad. Oh, that's good. Yeah, they're good boys. Joseph won't entertain we'll salad. Will not play? No. Sophie will just eat everything, but yeah, Joseph's a bit fussier. Um, okay, I could do with one of your sentiments. Would you believe we have a sentiment, uh, an essential book of sentiments? Should we pop across uh, just for a second to take a little look at it? Is that okay? Here we go. Um, can we do it on this on this one? Is that okay? Perfect. Right. So this is our essential book of Christmas sentiments. It's a matastic essential book of sentiments. There is a, a book of sentiments, Christmas sentiments, that's our standard adorable scoreboard, the satin adorable scoreboard. There's nothing really standard about it, is there? Uh, but look at all the different colours that you get with these fabulous sentiments. And there's different sentiments in here as well. They're not all the same, as you can see, as we flick through. Uh, we've got a mix of gold and silver, uh, depending upon the colour and which it works best with. Um, absolutely beautiful. So My many different one sentiments. Is, oh, just go back a few pages. I will do, I will do. Is, so there. Um, for a little sprout at Christmas. Let me just take a look can and see if see I can it? find that. Sorry, sorry to turn row. this around, guys. Um, for a little now. sprout at Christmas. Isn't that good? <laughs> it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Meet me under the mistletoe. So cute. Santa baby, you're on my nice list. Coming home for Christmas. Christmas is love with all the trimmings. It very is. Sent from the North Pole. There are so, so many. I mean, let's have a look in total. Does it say? No, it doesn't. It should do on the, like a ribbon top right corner. Featuring 640 individual Christmas themed sentiments in a pad. They're all foiled, they're all die cut. You just press them straight out and they'll go onto, uh, onto your, um, your projects. Absolutely lovely. Emery, shall I pass it to you so you can, um, you can choose one yourself? Yeah, go on then. There we go. Thank you. So we need something. This something here would be nice. Let's have a look. Um, rocking around the Christmas tree, it's not really suitable for the theme. So let's keep going. Um, we could have it's the most wonderful time of the year. Oh, peace and joy, peace, joy and love. That one's going to be perfect. Snip the little pips off, pop that in the middle down there. That's beautiful. Let's just. It's so so clever doing this, putting these together like this. It looks fab, doesn't it? Doesn't it look absolutely brilliant? It really really works with the angel. Um, so guys, this is our iris folding, our brand new festive iris folding. Um, price wise, you can get these dies at nine pounds ninety nine each. They include the templates, but you can get all four of them uh, together along with that fabulous A six um, paper pad that that's perfect for for folding to create this wonderful iris folding technique. It's got foiled in there. Uh, and printed papers for just thirty four ninety five. And if you're a Diamond member on our website, our Diamond Club is easy to join. Uh, you're talking thirty one pounds fifty, and I like that a lot. Oh, it was when we the blockbuster price last week. I was like, oh my goodness! If if now is not the time to join the Diamond Club, I don't know when is. Yes, you know, it's fantastic. Yeah, because you get that extra ten percent off yeah. even off the blockbuster. Yeah, which is already saving forty pounds. Yeah, um, it's fabulous. Right, my gemstones don't match because I don't have enough of that uh, darker sort of yellow there. So just ignore this one. <laughs> Amory, that is absolutely oh, lovely. They look fabulous, don't they? They do look fabulous. And I think in any colour, those would look wonderful. Oh, they would, yeah. They would. Um, beautiful. Uh, there we go, guys. We're on our iris folding is what we've been looking at today. But we also have available, and I think I should show you this. Um, so we manufactured... Uh, we manufactured about three quarters of the stock of this has gone through the machines already something like that half of that stock has already sold so this had the rest of this has to go back on the machines and soon and we are manufacturing other items for yeah. christmas so it is going to get tricky to get hold of this this is our christmas blockbuster and it's an absolute beauty it is ginormous there are 96 sheets in total uh, you can see all the way across here we've got um 
Uh, foiled and die cut toppers, we've got uh, ribbon borders, we've got embellishments, we've got sentiments, there's decoupage in here, all fold and die cut for you. Um, 439 individual foiled and die cut elements across these 96 sheets. 64 sheets of foiled and printed cardstock. Uh, all within these beautiful themes. So there are four different kits in here, if you will. So um, we start here with a lovely traditional, which is, uh, your, as you can see, your greens, your, your ivory, your red, all traditional. Um, things that you will reminisce about Christmas past. Um, absolutely beautiful traditional cards you're going to make with this. You've got your snowy selection in the centre here with our snowy days collection. Silver foil, uh, soft snow drift you've got, uh, beautiful snow scenes, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, usually the best seller is the best seller. Um, the snowy stuff, Amory, best seller as I'm usual. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. It's gorgeous. Some lovely wild winter wildlife in there. And thinking about winter wildlife, keep your eyes peeled. Uh, we know people love the winter wildlife. We've got the festive style, which is um, uh, quite stylish. Uh, interesting. These ones pop on your mantelpiece. Um, they're really, really quite uh, colourful, uh, interesting and different themes. So if you're looking for something a little bit different, you're going to find it there. Uh, and then, of course, our Christmas cuties. Uh, there's, there's everything cute, cheerful, fun, humorous, bit of comedy in there as well, uh, but very colourful. In total, as I say, 96 sheets. You can see the price on screen there. It's £44.99. And if you're a Diamond member, you're getting 10% off that already discounted price. Uh, orders for these are going out immediately, aren't they? They are Service so team doing a stunning, stunning job. Thank you so very, very much to all our people uh, in the warehouse picking and packing these orders, getting them out to people so that they've got them and crafting with them uh, so, so very soon. We're seeing so many different pictures on Facebook uh, of, of people who've received this uh, and are so happy with it. I need to mention this magazine that you get with this Blockbuster. When you buy your Blockbuster, you also get an 84 page magazine, which is filled with projects just exclusively using this Blockbuster. This project's for every single sheet of cardstock, every single topper. Uh, it's gonna give you mojo, um, you're gonna get uh, inspiration in there. Um, there is so, so much in this, including some free papers like Anne-Marie used in her last demonstration. They're perforated as well, so that you don't rip them as you get them out. It's very clever, isn't it? Um, we love that, okay. I know that more people are buying the ultimate Blockbuster than the Blockbuster. So there's the Blockbuster we've shown you there, £44.99. We also have an ultimate Blockbuster. Uh, the price is on screen there, £67.89. And again, if you're a club member, you're getting 5% off. If you're a Diamond member, you're getting 10% off that price. Uh, what do you get if you want the ultimate Blockbuster? Well, it takes your crafting even further. First off, you get 40 sheets of festive, adorable, scorable cardstock. 40 fantastic sheets with fantastic colorways. All the colors that are gonna work with all of these toppers that you've got here. Um, I mean, just, just chopping those in half and, and scoring them, that's 80 cards. Yep. I mean, there's, there's so much more you're gonna get with this. Matting and layering as well, absolutely. If you wanna finish your cards off perfectly, you can do that with the insert packs that come with this Ultimate Blockbuster. Four separate insert packs, one for each of the kits that we sh that we showed you here. 16 inserts for each of those. So in total, 64 inserts, one for every single piece of cardstock. And every single one of those is different, isn't it? Every it is, single yeah, insert there's is no different. no double ups at all. No double ups, which is fantastic. And of course, you get a brand spanking new little book of Christmas. It's the seventh little book of Christmas that we've got here. Featuring artwork that's been used throughout your blockbuster. But in a way, with there's 144, I got it wrong the other day, I said 150, but there's 144 individual sheets in this. If you just pop them onto some mirror card, it's 144 toppers yeah. made just from that book. That is included in this blockbuster. Uh, of course, because you get six sheets of each, you can decoupage them. You can. Uh, a bit of traditional decoupage, a bit of fussy cutting, it's completely yeah. up to you. Uh, that's our blockbuster, guys. Um, uh, we're gonna get a demonstration with this. We're gonna have a little look through it very quickly. And then Anne-Marie, uh, we're gonna choose something for you. Mm -hmm. Can I choose? Yeah. It's very exciting. Uh, let's take a look at our blockbuster VT. <laughs> Christmas has come early. It's time for the biggest launch of the crafting calendar year. We have four brand spanking new Christmas themed collections, filled with an abundance of both traditional and contemporary artwork for all your Christmas crafting needs. This is not one to be missed. So, oh, there we go. 
Sorry about that. No worries. Um, so, what is your blockbuster like when you get it? Look like when you get it delivered. It looks just <laughs> like this. There are four large kits here. Um, one, two, three, four. Just and so beastie. It is beastie, isn't it? And you, in a good way. Yeah. And you definitely. obviously get that magazine, that Craft and Funky Dory magazine as well. Now we're going to only open one of these. Uh, let's open, I think because it's people's favourite, can we open the snowy, is that uh, okay? I don't know if it's actually open behind you. Is it open behind me? Oh, it might be. I think it is. <gasps> Look at that. Aren't you good? I didn't do it, it's I like, saw it. Did you see it? That's very good. <laughs> um, first things first, uh, you get your, your snowy days. It's going to come to you like this in one of our lovely header bags that are recyclable, guys, um, in many, many places around the country. You get an inspiration sheet, that's absolutely key. Let me show you that in a little bit more detail. Um, there you go, that's your inspiration sheet. You've got uh, the details about the um, the other products that are available down there, but you've also got lots and lots of cards made with this lovely collection. You can buy it on its own for yeah. 19 99 and people do. Yeah. The value, obviously, in that blockbuster is that you're getting four collections mm -hmm. for £44.99, including the magazine. Basically, brings the collections down to a tenner each. It's crazy price. Which is fantastic, isn't it? Um, so, if I bring this a little bit closer, shall we have a look? This is Father Christmas. Love him. He's gorgeous. He's fantastic. Carrying the tree there, um, the Christmas tree, and it's decoupage. It isn't is, it? yeah. And it, it's super detailed decoupage as well. You've even got decoupage moustache. You've got your own decu your very own decoupage moustache. Yeah. Isn't that brilliant? Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at the luxurious foil draped all the way across there, um, intersecting with that with the uh, with the white there. So that's been done ever so cleverly by the designers. So it works beautifully. But I love those snowflakes. Really, really detailed. Very, very nice. 350 GSM. Adorable, scorable. As you know and love. There's Santa in the corner. Father Christmas or Santa? What do you call him? Uh, Father Christmas. Father Christmas in yeah. ours as well. Um, this is beautiful, isn't it? Oh, I love this, this one. This is beautiful. It's actually the best-selling individual is topper it? set. Yes, at the moment, um, you can buy all of these individual, all of these topper sets individually. So you would get, as I showed you there, the topper. You get the foiled piece of cardstock and the printed piece piece of cardstock. You can buy those for three pound forty nine each uh, on the website, and they are available. They drop into a multi buy of any mm. five for the price of four. Now, what we're finding is people are buying the blockbuster. And then they're also buying extras yeah. of certain ones the faves. that they know that they want to make more cards yeah. with. Or they sense. want to keep and never use. Or possibly, you know, possibly. You know, we as crafters, we like to do that. We do. Look at the lovely oh, border it's there. Gorgeous. We've got a little bit too much colour. light on this. So you've got a little bit more colour in this than you can see on screen. There is, uh, the lights are just washing it out ever so slightly. Look at the silver foil. Look at the frames. Look at the frames within frames. My so you've got so much you can do. This one. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. I've I've noticed people, um, uh, lots of people making cards with this. So it's the one mm -hmm. one one of the ones that I've seen the most cards of. Yeah. So that's when you know that people are are, are absolutely in love with the image. Um, but we're not going to give you that one, Anne Marie, because we know that you made a card with that when we launched the Blockbuster. Uh, I did. I'm just getting my snowy out so I can see. So you can see what there is. Uh, I love that. That's people going to church. Um, it looks like it's kind of twilighty, so maybe it's the night before Christmas. Oh, I love this one as well. One of my favourites. Very, very beautiful. I like them all. And we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna do that thing where we just give Anne Marie a topper, a piece of cardstock, or two pieces of cardstock, and we say, "Do what you will," and let's see what she comes up with. Uh, the little boy giving the snowman a kiss, and I love just down there. You've got the milk. Uh, you've got the cookies. <laughs> I uh, love the this, textured foil on that one as yes, well. Yes, it's beautiful, isn't it? This is just one quarter of your blockbuster that we're showing you. That is the sheer volume. Oh, the other best seller at the minute. Oh, is it? Yes, it is. It is. Oh, it's, it's the so other best fascinating. Seller. Both of the best sellers so far this year, singularly, have Robins on them. Wow. Isn't that interesting? I mean, it, it is adorable, that one, in bringing the little sprig of holly. So very cute. It's very cute. We have a uh, a Robin in the in the garden that comes and visits us. Oh, we do too. Um, do me a favour, everybody. If you if there is a particular one that you want Anne Marie to be demonstrating, please will you just pop a comment uh, onto either Facebook or YouTube. Um, it's completely up to you. In fact, the first one that anyone says, that's the one that we're going to do. Okay. 
Um, I love the snow scene. I've always loved a really nice snow scene, and that's a really, really nice one. Uh, you get the bridge on there as well, which is beautiful. Um, and again, you get these lovely colours that really work with this kit. So yeah, I love there's some the, pink in yeah, there. Yeah, the pink and the, the sort of lilacs that come through. The purples. Oh, that's really, really pretty. I think that would mm. be that would be very nice. You can do, do a nice fold-back with that straight away, can't you? Uh, guys, so we showed you there, uh, it's, it's in 24 sheets, but it's only one quarter of your Blockbuster. There are three other kits. Um, that come with your Blockbuster and as well that magazine with those um, eight double-sided papers in there as well. Uh, Jem, has anybody said which one they would like? Uh, 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 oh, like the they like the snowmen, do they? Okay, snowmen is what we're going to go with. I haven't done anything with that one yet. Have you not? No, I've got a full set. Right, well the snowman, and you are right, can I just bring this uh, up close to the screen if that's all right? Um, when Anne-Marie said look at the texture foil, just look at that, it's got stars within it, which is really, really pretty. Uh, warm winter wishes and snowman kisses. Mm -hmm. So let's do that. We've got the cardstock, I'll just show that. Um, that lovely cardstock with the lovely foil border and the snowflakes down the side and the printed cardstock. Uh, it's kind of got a snow drift there, hasn't it? And again, you get that gorgeous artwork in the corner. Okay, let's pass these across to Anne-Marie. I've got and it. See what she's got. Oh, have you got it? I've got it. She's already yeah. started. I've got. I've not done anything with this one yet, so it was in my stash because um, I haven't actually used it yet. This is what I mean about saving it because I wanted to just keep it forever. Keep it. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is just push out some of the toppers that I'm going to use. So I'm going to take that fabulous sentiment, warm wishes and snowman kisses because it's just too cute not to. Um, I'm also going to get the ribbon border. So let's just grab this off here as well. So we'll bring that in somewhere, I'm sure. And then I think we will go with the little let it snow too. So we've got a few different sentiments to use there. So let's see. I, I do like this particular cardstock. This is the one I'm going to use because I love the foiling. It's, it's beautiful, just isn't it? Gorgeous. Yeah, it beautiful. really is nice. So I think what we will do is let me just grab my trimmer. I'm going to get some Silver Marie because I know I have that in here. It's my stash of stuff in this box. And I'm going to, let me just check if I trim this to seven by seven, how is this? Oh, that's going to fit nicely on a seven by seven. So seven by seven with the silver. Like that. And then bringing in our foil card. And I'm going to go three notches under. So it gives us quite a nice chunky border on there rather than two. And I like that this foil card can go this way. They almost look like little baubles on these little hearts. Or you could also have it running that way as well and have them um, down at the bottom. It's up to you. So that is going to go on to here nicely. And then I've got some snowfall acetate, which is just an essential. If you don't have any of this in your stash, you absolutely need it in your life because it is just amazing. It's one absolutely wonderful. It's, a, it's actually a white foil uh, that gets foiled onto the the clear acetate to create just this lovely soft snow it's drift. Wonderful stuff, absolutely um, wonderful. I don't know if there's a card that wouldn't benefit from having a little bit of snowfall acetate in front of it. Genuinely, I had to stop myself from using it on all on the demos. Every single every card. Every single demo. Yeah, <laughs> it was uh, it was like an addiction. I it's had to just, just like so, step away so from useful. snowfall acetate. Okay, so what I've done is I've trimmed this to seven by eight, and I've scored at the one inch mark, just to give that a little bit of um, a tab. But then I've also scored another one. So what we created is like a little bit of a spine. And I find if I'm doing acetate wraps around my cards, giving it a little bit of a spine just helps it sit a little bit better because acetate can automatically want to sort of ping back against the fold. So just having that little edge just means it will sit a little bit nicer behind That's here. That's a great little tip. I completely um, understand that. Yeah, it, it, makes it does. Sense. It does make a difference. So then I'm going to massillate this. First of all, let's get this onto here. Uh, Anne Marie Tracy has said, Dan, will you be getting any more of the foiled cardstock as it's out of stock? <gasps> I noticed that it went at the weekend. I don't know how far through the weekend uh, it went, but it wasn't there last night when I was looking at the website. Um, the machines are incredibly busy. So for, for people busy. who don't know, we do all of our foiling 
uh, die cutting and so on all done in house here in Lancashire uh, I'd say sunny Lancashire but it's yeah. not not really um, here in Lancashire we do it all ourselves because that means that we can make sure that the quality of the yep. product is exactly what we want it to be so uh, all of our papercraft is done here in the UK it's not bought in from overseas or anything like that we do it with our own um, guys on our own machines uh, in our own warehouse which is fabulous that means that we can put stuff back on if it goes out of stock yeah. but they're really, really busy at the moment. They're working so, so hard. Um, so we will get it on as soon as we physically possibly can, but it may be a couple of weeks until we can get it back in stock. Yeah, it's a, a little bit cray cray busy out it there. It will come, it yeah. will come. Okay, so what we've done is created, um, so I'm gonna stand it up like this. If I just flip it around so you can see, look how strong the acetate is using, because it's actually a 20 micron, and it's gonna give us that front of our card and still stand up absolutely perfectly especially because we've got that little bit of a score in the top there as well so then we're going to take out our frames here because obviously we've got our topper we've got an inner frame and we also have that gorgeous outer frame as well so our topper is going to sit on the front of here our outer frame is also going to sit on the front of here and then we're also going to use the inner frame and we're going to line that up in the back of the card so you can still see it through the acetate but obviously when that card's open it gives a little bit of um a bit of a difference there so these two on the front this is going to go on the inside of here so i'm going to line these up first and stick these in place so let's just get some of our super skinny tape for this and just pop this frame on first oh you make it look so so easy so that's just using your finger there so that you can just you can control where around. it goes and yeah. and actually go around 90 degree corners with yeah. it yeah and the hope is that it comes off in one in one which it, nine times out of ten it does as long as you don't press too hard yeah. i guess um, yeah. then that's brilliant so then this can sit on to here so what's really nice is that the, the frame here and the topper are going to look like they're kind of floating. Yeah, this is why I love acetate. I just love this this look. One of my favourites. So that can sit in the middle there. And then this is going to go on the inside. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to use my, uh, I'm going to use my glue stick just so that I can get that wiggle room to get this in place. It also doesn't need like loads of stick in because obviously it's not like a real heavy top or anything like that but that just means I can get that in here, lie that down flat and then just move that around so it fits back where it should be as that, that inner frame but on, on the, the inside. inside. Yeah. Uh, guys, don't wait on those glue sticks. They will come back into stock, but they will be a while. So um, if you need to grab your glue sticks, then uh, a stationery store or, or, or anywhere like that, there are um, other companies who ha will have them in stock um uh, around the country they'll have the premier craft tools one in stock one's in stock it's just that we've we've not got them at the moment we're, we're very sorry we're very sad about it and then just trim off that and then we've just got to add a couple of sentiments so we're going to go with our warm wishes and snowman kisses so what we'll do is we'll double layer this one up so just, oh, so he stands proud. Yeah, so it really stands out on there. And then I'm going to add our Let It Snow sentiment. And this is just going to slip in underneath that frame to give us that little designer tag look, we like to call it. Hmm. Remember, everyone, we... Oh, it's lovely, that. Um, I do like it when you do that. Uh, remember, everyone, we now have reward points live on the Hunky Dory website. So hunkydorycrafts.co.uk. Uh, as long as you are a member of Club Hunky Dory or indeed uh, the Diamond Club, uh, the Diamond Membership, you will be getting reward points with all of your orders. And because if you're in Diamond, you get double reward points. So when you buy your Blockbuster, you're going to be getting, I think it's 80 reward points. Oh, it's just madness. Um, because your Blockbuster, if you're a Diamond member, it's only, I think it's £40.50 or something. It's uh, And that's with free P&P here in the UK as well, because P&P over £35 is free in, on the mainland UK. Um, guys, there has never been a better time for no, Christmas so crafting. Genuinely, there really it's hasn't, just is there? The best. Okay, so just to finish this off, we'll add our insert because I know I also have that. So just bear with me one second while I grab that. Out oh, of here. They're here, they're here, they're here. So 
and we'll just find the one that matches there we go and then we just need to cut that to seven by seven we'll just run seven by seven to go onto the back of the card so that will just hide our stickings from our adhesive as well acetate sorry as well so again just under seven just so it gives us that white edge all the way around as well and then again i would normally do my glue stick or something lightweight for this but because we are covering up the acetate i'm going to go with my double-sided just along the top there and just pop that in so that hides that acetate that we've got there and i think that's our gorgeous snowman and his little friend well done Complete. and that's the crafter's choice uh, today was the snowman at, uh, with hunky dory's 2022 christmas blockbuster thank you very much Anne-Marie. you're welcome three demonstrations there from Anne marie we showed you our fabulous iris folding before we go i'm just going to show you uh, the iris folding um just trimmed out so if you were to just trim them out uh, the cutting die out of uh, a piece of card you get this gorgeous aperture and obviously you also get left with this fantastic yep. embellishment here um, which can be can you can then I mean if you cut that out of the uh, the shimmer card that we showed you before and then lay them on top yep. of each other absolutely fantastic so that's the snowman uh, the iris folding die is available for £9.99 uh, it gives you your metal reusable die and you use them again and again hundreds and thousands of times um, but you also get the template within there within the packaging don't throw that packaging away uh, because the template will come in there for you uh, we've also got the fabulous stocking there uh, again with that gorgeous template but yes you can you can just use these as they are if you want to just use them as um, for die cutting there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever uh, that's how they look uh, just when you take them out when you create the aperture the christmas tree which was beautiful uh, we showed you earlier on the christmas tree when you're using uh, it just in this format but then uh, with the iris folding as well you get this sort of effect absolutely beautiful um, lots and lots that. of stars falling stars there you get the star you also get the plant, plant pot or the tree uh, the pot for the tree the base as you can imagine uh, and then there's that angel. Amory did that gorgeous card earlier on. Can I borrow it from you? You can. Okay? You absolutely um, can. Amory did the gorgeous card earlier on. If you just joined us, you'll be able to watch us back on catch up. But that was that fantastic card uh, that Amory did with the iris folding technique um, with the two angels uh, look, juxtaposed next to one another with the gorgeous wings, as you can see. Peace, love, and joy. What a beautiful card to receive. Um, and also that used one of the uh, backing papers that came with the magazine that comes with your blockbuster. Uh, that paper came free with that magazine, which is gorgeous, but isn't that beautiful? Uh, she also showed you how to um, be very clever with your mirror and take out the middle section of it as well so that you're not wasting anything. Uh, that's our iris folding and our b uh, bundle is available £34.95. If you're a diamond member, you're getting 10% off that as well. That does come with that gorgeous A6 paper folding pad. Okay, a couple of little, little announcements if possible. TV schedule. You'll be able to see Anne-Marie on Hobby Maker tomorrow. You will. You will. And Anne-Marie, you're there at 1, 3 and 5, it says. Yes. Very good. Brand new launch. Very excited. But you, you don't just appear there at 1. You have to drive from Preston. So I what, do. what time are you setting off? Uh, I'll be leaving about half past 7. Half, half 7, seven in the morning. That's not yeah. too bad. No, it's not. It's reasonable. It's not too bad. Yeah, it's reasonable. Okay, that's good. Um, just because my, I can't ever think about being late so it's, i have to be there sort of thing. you've never been late i don't, <laughs> don't think like being late. never been late absolutely <laughs> which is good um you'll be able to see Anne-Marie on hobby maker tomorrow at 1 3 and 5 and you can see the hobby maker channels there on screen she'll be starting you off with our we mentioned it before with our brrr, brrr, brilliant brrr, brilliant winter wildlife launch uh brand spanking new the newest edition of our crafting with hunky dory magazine um and she'll also be going which is great isn't it so excited. Uh, it's lovely that Crafting with Hunky Dory yeah. magazine. Um, now we're going to have a show uh, later this week, aren't we, with yeah. that Crafting with Hunky Dory magazine? Yeah, Is it Wednesday? I think it's Wednesday, yeah. And I just like what we've done with it. We've we've created some additional products to work alongside okay, the good. magazine free gift. So yeah, it's very exciting. Which we've never done before, so we that's haven't. interesting. No. Uh, guys, as well, if you want to subscribe to our Crafting with Hunky Dory magazine, you can do so and you actually get diamond membership included with that. Now we're going to be going through that. Uh, in detail and giving you all the information showing you that brand new magazine on Wednesday um, okay she'll be she'll be going into more detail with the new Christmas Iris folding dies so you, you've well, got them got, on TV again tomorrow two more demos with that lined have up. they actually got any stock left I'm surprised I don't know I think I they pinched in. they pinched some of our stock didn't they or we we 
we let them have. Yeah. They didn't pinch. We, we were borrowed kind. it. Yes. Borrowed it. Uh, which means that if you want your iris folding dies, you've probably got to go quite quickly yeah. on them because they, I, I can tell you now, I guarantee you they will sell out. Um, they, we will, uh, we haven't reordered them yet, but we, no, we're doing today. it today. Yeah. Today they'll get reordered because we know that they're going to go. Um, but yes, when they do go, they'll be out of stock for a few weeks. Um, it does take six weeks or so to be able to get those back into stock. Um, and that's even with, uh, with flying, yeah. um, air Up freight. Yeah, on yeah. Next up on Ungodary TV, this is tomorrow, Twas the time, Twas about time we brought this classic <laughs> back. Um, we have for you our fabulous Twas the Night Before Christmas storybook plus a super special new picture perfect pad, uh, brand new launching tomorrow. Uh, come and see what all the fuss is about with Natalie and Rebecca tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. It's been a pleasure spending a little bit of time with you this morning. I hope you've enjoyed it, we certainly have. Um, it's a big goodbye from my friend Gemma who's produced our show. Goodbye. <laughs> it's goodbye from Anne Marie. Goodbye. And it's goodbye from myself. See you later. Bye.